Tutulan Tonggo! Hey, welcome to another Brown Man Life video. If you guys are new here, my name is Kartik and my wife is behind the camera. Her name is Sim. And together with our puppy Everest, he's the cutest guy ever, we're traveling in our 1977 Dodge B200 camper van. It's almost a 44 year old van from Toronto to Patagonia. We are gonna be your favorite Indian van life couple. So be sure to follow our journey and subscribe. After crossing Canada, US and now into Mexico and being here for three months, we finally made it to the state Hidalgo. And here it's known for many, many different geographical regions, but we are here especially for a place called Tolentongo, which is a box canyon, it's a resort. This resort is an absolute insta-worthy place, plus just a lot of fun. There are grottos, rivers, uh, caves, waterfalls, you name it. We can't wait to show you. Let's go to Tolentongo. <laughs> Let's go to Tolentongo. Just made it to the entrance. I'm gonna get the tickets. Shouldn't be too expensive from what I've heard. It's that safe. I've already made the wrong turn. <laughs> so the tickets were 150 pesos each with 20 pesos for parking a night. Uh, not too bad. 150 pesos is only like around seven dollars. So seven dollars a night, fifteen dollars for two people. That includes your camping permit. Yeah. Yeah. I am truly amazed how there's nobody else at this campsite except for us. Literally not a single person. I think there's Machar only. It's us and the Machar today. Yeah, it's us and Machars and some blue water and some clouds and that's it. Yeah. It's getting late. We kind of started the day late today. It was a long drive from Mexico City. It's around four hours from the city. There are hot showers here, so we're gonna hot shower and sleep. Well, the water is also hot. So anyways, I don't think we're gonna take a dip today, but tomorrow morning is gonna be an insane way to start the day. Hot spring water. I think part of the reason she sleeps better out in the nature is because I don't snore when I'm out camping. Yes. Is that true? Yes, yes. For those of you that don't know, I'm a coffee person, Sim is a tea person. If you're team coffee, leave a comment down below. If you're team tea, leave Sim down below. Never say no to going into the water. Let's go! Woo! 
I honestly cannot think of a better way to start the morning. Give me a cup of coffee and a dip in this hot blue water every single day and I'll be a happy man. Almost 9.30 a.m. and uh, we're still working so we gotta go get some work done. Got some meetings in about an hour so I gotta prep for that. And then I think we'll do about three, four hours of work and continue to explore this park. We have the entire day here today before we gotta leave because a, we're running out of food and Everest is out of food also, so gotta go, man. utilizing it right now just boiling some water throwing it in and having it with some achar and some salad For those of you that don't know upma is the indian version of cream of wheat it's got a little bit more indian spices added to it some masala in there just to make it non-bland that masala for the salad the best. Oh! Oh, too much. Oh shit, too much. Too much, too much. Abort mission. Me and Sim have been having really bad stomach issues, like so bad, that we've decided we're gonna stop eating outside altogether for probably a month and just eat all the fruits and salads possible because our gut seriously needs some cleansing. Change of plants, it's too hot to eat outside, so we're back in the van. We're both eating out of measuring spoons because we didn't do dishes. It was Sim's turn. I don't know why she's not doing the dishes. And paper plates too. Come on. It's just gonna be. dip. The sun is gonna go down around 8 o'clock here and the pool should be empty by around 7 o'clock. We can't really leave Everest for too long in the van either way so we gotta make the most of it towards the end of the day before the pools close. Say bye to Everest. Bye Everest. Bye Everest. Back in like half an hour, because okay. that's all we can leave you for. 30 minutes, bye! Locks. Locks, okay, it was open last time. I think so. This is the entry to the posa, as I'm thinking posa means pool. And we go down here. Bunch of stairs. This is basically a resort up here, not as wild in the nature as you would like it to be. They have hot thermal river, they have just transferred that water here and made these fake sauna pools that you see on the internet. Uh, they give the same vibe, same water, but not, it's man-made. We were really looking forward to come here and see the sunset. Just you 
This has to be the craziest views of Mexico we've seen so far in the past three months we've been here. Mountains, I never thought I would see them again after leaving the US. This almost reminds me of being in Yosemite for some reason. It's pretty crazy. But the kicker is all these amazing little pools that you have down here. This seems like a very popular tourist spot for local tourism. So probably the best thing to do is come here on a weekday. Today is a Monday and the crowd seems fairly decent. And we're here around sunset, so it's even less crowded at this point. But I think we have to jump into the water now. They're, it's inviting us. It's kind of warm, it's not too hot, but as soon as you get up, it's freezing, so it's better to stay in. So look at the view, it's all like snow. Time to go. Everest is waiting. It's been more than half an hour. That's all the luxury we get when you have a dog and you go to places where dogs are not allowed. But look at this Gotta place. go back. You'll miss it. Everest, we're coming. And if every Monday can be ended like this, I think everybody would live a happy life. Yeah. Now a trek back to the back. We're so unfit. I don't know how we're gonna hike in Guatemala and get onto the hiking regime again. We need to start working on our fitness. Back to our puppy. Hola Everest. Hola Everest. ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo estás? How are you? Po. Po. Why are you po. eating Sorry buddy, I know. Yeah, we couldn't let you in. Let's go. Watch out, watch out for the camera now. Watch out, for the camera. <laughs> You're so happy. We made it. We made it. We alive. We made it. We made it. We made it, Everest. We made it. He has to do a happy dance every single time he sees us, even if it's after only five minutes. No, no. Oh Lord, Everest, you're acting like you haven't seen us in years. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh. Leave a heart in the comments if you guys think we should never go any place without Everest. And we won't if we get more than 10 hearts. Yes. Over the past one year, we have skipped a lot of touristy destinations. We are so glad we made an exception for this one and listened to the locals because Tulontongo is truly worth the hype. <laughs>